Dick Morris, you've been involved in the sport of wrestling for a long time. I uh, have. As a coach and as an official for a great many years. Uh, who are the individuals, or maybe one individual, that uh, affected you of either getting into the sport or uh, continuing on for as many years as you did? Well, I, I'm going to mention it in my uh, talk tonight when I get up. Uh, Fred Burry from Mount San Antonio Junior College mm -hmm. was a coach at Mount Sac. And, I started coaching in 1961 at Edgewood High School, and he he was at Mount Sac, and he was kind of my mentor, mm -hmm. who got me into it and helped me, and uh, I I wrestled at Mount Sac for one year, uh, my sophomore year, and I, they won the state championship. I said they I wasn't good enough to make the number one team, but mm -hmm. I worked out and I was with the team, so. I think Fred was probably influential more than anyone. Yeah, when you got started as a coach at uh, Corona Del Mar, Mar High School and you know you won the Southern Section Championship there, uh, did you have someone who was your idol in the sport that you look up to the, uh, to motivate you to that level of success? I think probably uh, Gosh, yeah, I can't think of his name. He coached at uh, Maricosta High School, Jack Fernandez. Mm -hmm. uh, when I coached at Edgewood High School and I was there, uh, I had really good wrestlers, and they never placed in the CIF. So I went to Jack, and I talked to him about how to be successful, and that is wrestle year-round. Mm -hmm. So I took started taking kids to freestyle tournaments and wrestled year-round, and Jack was very, very successful, and he's... And I think he's in the California Hall of Fame. Yes. So he was a guy that really influenced me because he was so successful and such a good mm -hmm. coach. What got you started in the sport? You know, I really don't know what got me started. I liked wrestling a lot. Uh, when I wrestled at Mount Sac, uh, I went on to Whittier College and I played football there. But all the schools that I went to, none of them had wrestling. None of the schools in high school. Uh, I went to four different high schools, and then when I went to Mount Sac, they had a team, <clears throat> so I went out for the team, and I uh, didn't expect to wrestle because, as I said, they were state mm -hmm. champions, but uh, I just liked the sport, and uh, I, I taught first at Ball and Park High School for one year. They didn't have wrestling. I went to Edgewood High School in West Covina, and they wanted to start a program, so I started the wrestling program there, and Fred Burry is a guy that I got my philosophy mm -hmm. from and really helped me there. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah. Uh, what aspect of your personality do you attribute your success in wrestling, not only as a coach, but obviously you're a very fine official as well? My philosophy as a coach was to have fun and uh, make practices interesting. Uh, wrestling is not, wrestling is a sport that it's hard to keep kids and hard to get them out. And, uh, I got a lot of kids out for out for my teams <clears throat> when they came out. Some of them quit, but not very many. Mm. And uh, so I, I think that helped. Having a lot of fun and really being interested in the kids. Yeah. Is there one moment you can think of uh, out of all your years' involvement in the sport that stands out as like your greatest memory, your greatest moment? One of my well, my my <clears throat> greatest memory as a coach is winning the CIF Southern Section Championship in Southern California. Uh, and then going to the NC2A tournament and seeing Kel Sanderson win his last match that he wrestled and was undefeated in high school in wrestling was a, was a moment in history that I don't know if it'll ever be equaled again. Mm -hmm. What was it about wrestling that uh kept you involved all these years uh, as a wrestling official? Well, I like the sport so much that when I, I quit coaching, I wanted to stay involved mm -hmm. in it. Uh, I quit coaching wrestling to be a head football coach, and I did that for a lot of years. And to stay involved, and I, and I, I did officiate wrestling when I uh, was coaching. I mean, when I was coaching wrestling, I officiated also. Mm -hmm. So to stay in the sport, uh, I, I officiated. And, and it's the involvement with being involved with uh, 
and knowing uh, f fellow coaches, fellow officials, and just staying involved in because a lot of them are my friends, mm -hmm. and that's part of officiating is the camaraderie that you have with other guys and mm -hmm. going. It's not just the officiating; it's going out to breakfast with them and mm -hmm. being with them before and after and so forth. If you had it to do over again, would you do it any differently, Dick? I would not do it any different. I absolutely love my job. I was physical education teacher. The last seven years that I taught, I was head golf coach and and. Uh, uh, head surfing coach. Oh, those are and I look forward to going to school every day. And uh, I don't know, I love coaching and I love teaching. Hmm. I wouldn't do it any different. Uh, Dick, what would you like people to remember about you? Well, in officiating, I think that I would appreciate uh, coaches particularly thinking that I was fair. Hmm. Uh, the most important person on the mat is the wrestler and that he got a fair shake and he won the match because of his skills and not because of officiating error or some kind of problem with an official. Well, I think you've accomplished that. Your integrity has never <laughs> been an issue or in question. I hope not. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations once again, Dick Morris, for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for your time. Thank you.